Hi, and welcome to another episode of A Journey into Physics. My name is Xenokaryophilis, and today we're going to discuss about gravity. Its theory and its meaning, and yes, even some apples. I'm sure that everyone has heard about the story how Newton discovered his universal law of gravitation. An apple fell on his head while he was sitting under a tree and then he figured out the idea of gravity. But what is gravity? I'm sure that even I can understand that this is a great topic and such a huge problem even in modern physics. But let's find out what Newton had said about it. According to Newton's theory, two bodies attract each other with a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the centers. So what's the meaning of the Newton's universal law of gravitation? It is pretty simple. There is a force that attracts any object to any other object in the universe. This force is proportional to the masses of the pair of the objects, which means that the higher the masses, the higher is the force of gravity. But also, the force of gravity is inversely proportional to the distance of these two objects, which means the higher the distance, the less the force of gravity is. Now let's get to see two examples in uh, the whiteboard to understand better the force of gravity. In our first example, we can see here we have the Earth and here we have the Moon and this is the distance between them. The force of gravity is proportional to their masses, the mass of the Earth and the mass of the Moon, and inversely proportional to the square of their distance. In the ex second example, you can see we have again the Earth, but we have here the satellite, and here is the distance between them. We can see that the gravity in this case is the mass of the Earth and the mass of the satellite and it's inversely proportional to the distance between them. As you can see in our two examples the forces of gravity are not equal to each other because you have different bodies even if we have the Earth, we have also, in the first example, the Moon, and in the other example, the satellite. And the distances between those objects are different each time. If you like this video, consider subscribing to our channel for more videos like this. You can also follow us on Facebook and on Twitter and the links are below in the description. If you have missed any of our previous episodes, don't forget to watch the playlist of the Classical Mechanics mini-series in the YouTube card above or below in the description. Thanks again for your support and see you in the next episode of A Journey Into Physics.